Play clock down to 15 seconds. In motion cranks, three to the right, one to the left. Here's Ritter, pressure coming. Flush from the pocket to the right. Ritter gonna throw it up, trying to come back. Barnard catches it! Touchdown Atlanta! Holy smokes! <laughs> what an unbelievable story Bernhardt is, and a tremendous athlete, Bernhardt makes the play. He's a Florida kid, triple option quarterback in high school. You know, makes his way to Maryland as a lacrosse player and broke records over there. I think he's the all-time points leader. After, after he finished at Maryland, he goes to Ferris State and plays quarterback as a, as a triple option quarterback there as well. Bernie's been a, you want to call it a pleasant surprise, but when you, when you know what the kid is and how he's wired and where he's from and, and all the things that we just talked about, like it doesn't surprise you, you know, yeah. that, he's, that he's come along as fast as he has. You know, it goes back to my dad um, just being a football coach. He was pretty dry humored, um, but tough on us. Um, he had a you know tough upbringing, um, losing his dad actually early in his life, so he was living on his his own for a bit. But um, you know, just being tough on me and my brothers, and making sure you know we had our priorities taken care of. Football was definitely the first where dad was involved. That's what we were doing. If we were outside playing football, you wanted to be outside playing football. Kind of your your tag along little brother is most probably people would think about. So I wasn't playing lacrosse. I was doing football when I wasn't doing football lacrosse. When he got to high school, the ability for him to kind of do what he was kind of doing on a high school field, and there's definitely something there more than just kind of your normal you know high school football player or athlete per se. Again, from an early age, was kind of a, a good athlete and. You know, like most play places, like, all right, let's put the best athlete at quarterback, right? And, and again, growing up, he was, ironically enough, a huge, like, Michael Vick fan. And, you know, even then, he kind of had some shiftiness to him and, and all that kind of stuff. So he, he had a, a great career. I mean, probably, if not, you know, one of the best to do it at our high school um, in terms of what he, you know, team standpoint and just an individual standpoint able to kind of accomplish. A little bit later, I really wasn't thinking about playing football. Some of the military academies, um, again, we ran the triple option, so um, had some opportunity to do that. And then um, through the lacrosse route, um, obviously decided to go the lacrosse route. He walked into, you know, a top-notch, you know, lacrosse program in the country and uh, kind of worked his way up to being a, a midfielder. He was an attackman in high school. The really um, veteran group, uh, mentors, um, and just day by day. I mean, you're not really looking too far ahead, just trying to get a little bit better each day. Um, and again, we had a great group of, of seniors um, and, you know, just watch them, you know, how they carry themselves on and off the field. Kind of was a, you know, a big part to success and they ended up in 2017 winning the national championship, which ended a 42 year drought for the University of Maryland. You know, every year kind of just continue to get better and better. He kind of has the individual success and kind of breaks some records at Maryland, which, um, you know, to him is, you know, just is what it is, but it, it is very impressive, especially at a place like like Maryland. And, and obviously he goes on to kind of win uh, the Tour Town, which, you know, as most people are learning is like the Heisman of, of college lacrosse. I love the game, um, but, I made some of my best friends there, continue to talk to them daily, you know, as the relationships that I've built, you know, in my time there. He kind of really didn't really tell us too much. I mean, you can kind of bits and pieces, kind of pick some things apart and figure there's something going on. But when he ended up telling us, obviously it, you know, hits pretty hard. Um, and then, you know, see him in the in the conditions he was in, um, you know, that was definitely the hardest thing. You know, since his passing, you know, you see all these people kind of come out um, and, you know, tell stories of, of the impact he had on their lives and, and all these things. And then when you reflect and the reason why we like being in sports and coaching isn't necessarily because of that it's because of the relationships that have come through it and we were able to see that through our dad he just kind of had that it factor that some people kind of do and you know some people kind of don't but he definitely had it i wasn't sure what i wanted to do after maryland 
Um, after his passing, I just kind of felt like, yeah, this is kind of the route. You know, I, I kind of want to pursue this and at least, you know, finish this. Um, you know, going into 20, um, you know, going to be his senior year, rewinding into that fall, you know, that's kind of where the whole football thing started. I just kind of sent out some emails. They got back in touch with me. Coach, Coach Anise over there uh, actually called me. Obviously said he was interested uh, and, sh and showed, you know, kind of what their culture was about, what they, you know, brought as, you know, as a team. I think in that January, um, sight unseen, never even been to Ferris State, didn't had to look it up on a map. Um, he committed to him, um, told Coach Anise he was going to come. So that's kind of how we, uh, <laughs> that's how he ended up at Ferris State. I got there, they were already a great team. You know, with Coach Anise being there, I mean, you could see, you know, what he was building and what he had built. Um, so, and like I said, they had, they had a great team before I got there. Going into his first game at Ferris State, I think it was about five minutes before the game that Coach Anise told him that he was gonna be the starting quarterback. It's a great feeling. I, it was probably more, I mean, it was, it was awesome. My family was there. You know, you finally kind of saw him smile when they won the championship because to him, that was the most important thing. We had some seven-year guys that came back um, and kind of look look on their faces, you know, to finally you know get the get the championship. So it was really cool to see, you know, how happy they were. And during that season, Coach Smith brought his name up and. Coach follows every sport that there is, you know, basketball, lacrosse, you name it. And, and, and Bernie's name was always come up because he's the, you know, this great lacrosse player uh, who's playing football at Ferris State. And, and he asked about him during the season and we made sure our area scout was on it. And um, after that season, he went and worked out at Maryland as his pro day. So we went and watched that, made sure we were there to attend it. And he worked out as a, uh, as a wide out. And so that's kind of where the, the process started that way. They were talking to me and said, "Hey, maybe there's some some interest here, um, and yeah, maybe I'll you know give it a shot." When you watch his lacrosse tape, it's it's impressive. He's a gifted player, gifted hands, you know, instinct, spatial awareness. So you watch that, you know, and and you're trying to make it. Okay, well, what about football wise? Well, when we watch him as a quarterback at Ferris State, a triple option quarterback, you're seeing the same thing. Now you got the ball in your hands and you're running and you're making guys miss and those types of things. And you start piecing everything together. Super, super excited, honestly, you know, to have someone, you know, reach out and, and, and do that. It uh, obviously means a lot and show their interest. So it's definitely, definitely a great feeling. There was no huge, like, climactic moment or you know anything like that you know definitely some congratulations and proud of you you know for those things but every time he gets to one of those points he it's he's just already moving on from a thought process to like okay this is just the beginning like now the work is kind of just starting which is just Jared he's come a long way switching positions playing wide out for the first time coming to our mini camp um, from where he was at as a, at, at minicamp to where he's at now is it's light years away and that's because of I think just his overall athletic ability and playing other sports and having that feel. Just trying to get better each day but also just trying to be a good teammate um, again and that just comes with you know coming to do your job every day trying to um, you know help your teammates get better. You know for Jared we know he has great intangibles and all those things like he's our brother or you know you know all those things but sometimes people don't get that opportunity to show those and hopefully that they they've seen that and I, and I think they have um you know otherwise like i tell him like you know if they didn't think you could be doing some of these things like they wouldn't they wouldn't give you the chance so you know you just kind of kind of keep believing in yourself because they obviously see something too there are other players on this team that are playing really well. What's the kid's name? Jared Ber Bernhardt? Bernhardt, yeah. This kid's gonna make the team, guys. If you're telling me he doesn't, I gotta ask the reason why. He's popping. He's making plays, Mike. He's catching balls. He makes plays every freaking game. So I like you, everybody you wants to see this kid you, out there. But you can't ignore it. No. How quickly he's improved from pro day, mini camp, OTAs, training camp, 
to the game, you know what I'm saying? Like it was, you just saw it coming, you saw it coming, you saw it coming, and, and, and the kid works at it, it's him. He's got a great demeanor about him, walking around the building, very serious. You know, I, I love that about him. Jared Bernhardt makes this team. I like it. I mean, I just all I know is he's the one guy that was making plays. I don't know. You know, dealing with all the emotions, just trying to, you know, figure it out. Um, but, you know, I talked to my family. Uh, nice to hear from them. Had a bunch of, you know, friends and family reach out, which was, you know, uh, great to hear from them as always. So, um, again, just probably a bunch of different emotions. For his first opportunity ever to have the opportunity to dress in his first opportunity that he ever could that kind of was like well like that's pretty like i was like breathtaking you know i was like wow like this is it like this is real now you know so like when i go now and sit in the stadium and it's like his first nfl game and you know he, he's a better person than he is a, an athlete and he's a pretty good athlete